killer still on the loose on the streets of Boston. This after a triple shooting in Boston. Tonight, the new police commissioner is taking a stand, saying that the court system needs to change. WBC's Jim Smith is live tonight in Mattapan with more on this story. Jim? Liam, the commissioner is fed up, and the people in these neighborhoods are fed up as well. Tonight, it seems like everybody is looking for an answer. It's just rapid fire, like rapid. A bullet-riddled car towed by police, the medical examiner van taking away another young victim of gunfire. A man in his 20s shot to death, two others wounded. The latest chapter in a sad story, this time on Deering Road in Mattapan. Yes, judges have to be more accountable. Now the new police commissioner is upping the ante, demanding tougher sentences for people convicted of multiple gun charges and then released back in the community. We are sick and tired of when we make arrests, several of the individuals, it's their third and fourth time with a firearm offense. Stay away orders and ankle bracelets do not work. We need to send a message. Some in the community hear that message loud and clear. Ten shots. Um, the cars and everything, and then you hear the screaming because, you know, people's outside. So it's crazy because, like I said, broad daylight. A neighbor who happens to be a nursing assistant gave first aid to the victims. She does not want her face shown, but she has a message, too. It needs to stop. It can't be everybody's problem. It can't be everybody saying they can't do anything. I don't want to keep on seeing kids drop. I've lost too much family to these streets. It's it's ridiculous. Now, to put things in perspective tonight, this is Boston's 34th homicide so far this year. That's just a fraction of the murder rate in several big cities. But as Commissioner Gross says, even one homicide is one too many. Live on Deering Road in Mattapan, Jim Smith, WBZ News.